Hey everyone, this is Kalpesh here, and we are ready to present the first problem of rattlesnake. So, a bit about rattlesnake first. So, rattlesnake is an initiative that started last summer, and it, it was meant to teach people Python, and we have continued it this this semester. And our idea is to teach you, teach you Python in a, in a slightly different way. So, it's not going to be a conventional session where we teach you uh, we teach you language elements and you just and then you just follow what's going on and then get confused at the end. It's going to be different. So, we're going to actually make you sit down and solve problems. We'll give you online problems, one every week. And at the end of the week, we'll post, post a solution of the problem. We'll have a few sessions in, uh, in the middle where you where we sit down together and code. And at the end of it, we'll have a hackathon with everyone from IIT Bombay. There'll be cool prizes to be won. And uh, most importantly, you can make anything you want to. We'll also have a guest lecture at the end, right? Yeah, that that's a surprise actually. So we're going to be having a, a guest lecture at the end of it, uh, at, at at the beginning of the hackathon, and you're really going to enjoy it. Okay, so let's begin. So this week's problem wants you to convert a date to a day. So let me give you an example. So our session was on 14th of Jan 2007 which is a Saturday, right? So let's show you this program in action. So I run the script and I write 14, 0, 1, 1, I got the day of the week is Saturday. And then I have an option whether I want to quit or continue. So let's say I decide to continue. So I type the day before that. And I got the day is Friday, and when I want, I can quit by typing Y. So it's a day to sorry, date to day converter. Must be running in a loop. Should have an option to quit. You can enter the date in any format you like. But be, make sure that you specify to the user using a print statement. And finally, you are encouraged to use libraries. We won't tell you which libraries, you have to figure it out yourself. You can even write your own algorithm, but we always encourage using libraries. So, happy coding.